Millions of Americans are on the move this evening, heading home for the holiday. These are shots taken just moments ago, in fact, at Penn Station right here in New York City, where we're told the trains have been suspended. Signal problems, so many trying to get to their families. And take a look at this tonight. These are planes in the sky right now, the flight tracker, as more than 43 million Americans start their Thanksgiving journeys. As we all know, 90% of us will be on the road this holiday. And look at this tonight. Images of gridlock across this country already pouring in. We asked our ABC team out there to document their travels as they head home. And you're looking at just a glimpse of what they encountered today. ABC Cecilia Vega with the picture coast to coast tonight. And she's live in Los Angeles tonight. Cecilia, good evening. Hey, David, good evening. These are the folks who are getting ready to head home for the holiday by planes, trains, and automobiles. America is on the road. Down there, folks. If there's one thing to be thankful for this Thanksgiving Eve, it's that Mother Nature cooperated for the most part. That thick fog blanketed Chicago's O'Hare first thing in the morning, canceling 130 flights. We'll be delayed today due to the fog in Chicago. Not too far away at Chicago's Midway, one exasperated traveler tweeted they were packed like sardines. And before the sun came up, Los Angeles International earned its reputation as the second busiest Thanksgiving airport with lines that snaked around and around. On the East Coast tonight, a train traffic jam. All Amtrak service in and out of New York City's Penn Station suspended because of a signal problem. But from coast to coast, on one of the busiest travel days of the year, it seemed to be, well, not so busy. You braved the holiday travel today. Oh, it wasn't bad. I guess this makes it all worth it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Says. We followed our ABC team as they hit the road. I'm heading home to Kentucky. We're traveling from Washington, D.C. to Greenville, South Carolina. To Houston, Texas. ABC's Lindsay Davis flying from Cleveland early this morning. Security line is starting to build, starting to wrap around a little bit here. Checking in four hours early. This is Delta, this long, long, long security line. Heading to Toronto. But at least we've checked in and we are done and roads were mostly clear on the way to the Jersey Shore. It's already looking a little hairy at times, but at least it's moving. But no matter how far or how long the journey, at the end, there's that reminder of why it's worth it. A hug from Grandpa. Happy Thanksgiving. That look on Mom's face. The love of a sister. That embrace and that kiss. And a sign of just how easy the day has been here at Los Angeles International. The check-in counter is virtually empty right now. Good news for those of us who are flying tonight, me included. I'm headed home this evening to see my family in San Francisco. David, happy Thanksgiving. And you too, Cecilia. It's all worth it for the hug waiting at the end of the journey. A hug from New York tonight for you as well. Thank you and to the entire team who took their cameras along for the ride. Millions of American families traveling, as we mentioned, and this was another image that caught our eye today. Look at this. This was in Chicago where the fog made it absolutely miserable on the highways there, trying to get home there as well. And so we want to bring in ABC meteorologist Ginger Z tonight, who spent a good deal of time forecasting in Chicago. And Ginger, that system on the move this evening? It is. That fog, that same exact area, will redevelop in places like Detroit, Memphis, and Houston. And I want to show you exactly who needs to pay attention to this as you plan for tomorrow morning. Uh, don't turn on the brights from any of that area you see there in gray. One other spot that we've been watching for the last couple of days is the Pacific Northwest. They have had record rains. I'm talking 8 to 10 inches. Snowfall in the 2 to 3 foot range. They will be drying out for the holiday. And Ginger, the broader picture, not a bad Thanksgiving for the rest of the country. Not at all. You know, we really got lucky because you can get some big storms this time of year. Let's look at that overall picture as far as what's happening. I-95 up and down the eastern seaboard looking dry. You've got a little bit of rain from parts of Michigan down into Texas, Dallas on the northern end of that, the southern end of that, and then drying out again for the west. So from San Francisco to Seattle, some better pictures coming by tomorrow.